Local law enforcement agencies are looking for new strategies for holding police accountable for their behavior. This after video showing the death of a black man at the hands of Memphis police officers has the attention of the nation. News 2's Sophia Radaba joins us in the studio and Sophia Tyree Nichols was one of the topics discussed during Charleston's public safety meeting today. That's right, Carolyn. Charleston's mayor, council members and police met this afternoon to talk about the importance of holding law enforcement accountable. This discussion comes after 29 year old Tyree Nichols was killed by Memphis police when pulled over for reckless driving about a month ago. During today's meeting, Charleston police spoke about how crucial it is that law enforcement continues to reassess their policies. They also presented an update to a racial bias audit that's been in the works for about a year. Some things the audit found that need to be changed included updating police response to resistance policy, as well as the city's citizen complaint procedures. The department also unveiled a new member of their team in charge of analyzing data and giving the agency recommendations to improve. I'm looking forward to being uh, one of the main facilitators of the external audit uh, evaluation when that happens. I'll be working with um, the researchers coming in based on my background to help them get what they need and make sense of the data and really help us try to um, try to incorporate a lot of the suggestions that they will give us into ongoing monitoring and practice. So far, police have implemented solutions to 33 of the 37 recommendations found in the audit during the last part of the racial bias audit. The Charleston Police Department will bring in a third party. It's likely to be a state university to examine the agency. In studio, Sophia Radebaugh, Count on Two. Next on News 2.